plaintiff, Jerome Cooksey, says he met the defendant at a motel and they had a one night stand. Jerome claims after they had sex, he took a shower. And when he came out, the defendant was gone, along with his laptop, jewelry, and car. Jerome is suing for the unpaid restitution. Defendant Ashley Logston says when she met Jerome, she was addicted to heroin. Ashley claims Jerome offered to pay her for sex, but she declined and she stole his property. Ashley says she does not owe and she's countersuing for defamation and harassment. Start with you. I met Ashley in uh, April of 2010. I was going through a, a split up with my girlfriend. I was staying at a motel. I met her in the vehicle. She was sleeping in the vehicle. Uh, I thought she was cute. She had a tooth missing, but she so had teeth. a tooth missing. <laughs> I seen her tooth was missing, but she I was still cute. Look good, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I said oh, she right. was cute, All so right. I invited her in. Uh, we hung out that day. We had sex. Uh, I went and took a shower. When I came back, she was gone. My laptop was gone. My gold rings was gone. <laughs> my vehicle was gone. Vehicle. So Your I looked. Vehicle. She took. The yeah, keys. she took my vehicle as well. So I looked around to see what else was gone. She had left the cell phone. Oh. I picked the cell phone up to call the number to, to see whoever she had talked to last. I was gonna tell them. Tell them I'm sending the police after. But the guy said, uh, "Ashley, bring me my phone." And I, I said, no, I said, this is Jerome. She just robbed me. He said, well, she robbed me nah! last week. <laughs> this is my phone. She just robbed him <laughs> too. Yeah, she robbed him last week. So I called the police <laughs> and I made a police report. And uh, so then after that, it was a year later, I got something from the county attorney saying that she had agreed to pay you me. You prosecuted? Too. Yes, sir. All right, she was apprehended and you prosecuted yes, and found after guilty? Yes, sir. He had left the cell phone. I picked the cell phone up to call the number to see whoever she had talked to last. I was going to tell him, tell him I'm sending the police after her. But the guy said, uh, Ashley, bring me my phone. And I, I said, no. I said, this is Jerome. She just robbed me. He said, well, she robbed me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my phone. She just robbed him, too. Yeah, she robbed him last week. Defendant Ashley Logston is accused of having a one-night stand with a plaintiff, but she insists she rejected the plaintiff after he offered to pay her for sex. All right, let me hear from you, ma'am. How you doing, Judge? Yeah. Um, so I met Jerome in the middle of an addiction. I first started out with um, Oxycontin, which led to heroin, which I've been clean since December 16, 2016, from everything. Um, however, I was in my addiction, so I was offered sex from Jerome. He was going to pay me for sex. Well, we go to the hotel, and he gets in the shower before sex. So I chickened out, and I said, okay, well, instead of getting paid for sex, I'll just steal his stuff. Ooh, sorry. Are you I a crackhead? Are you a crackhead? No, no, sir. Oh. Why do I look like one? I mean, you come in here cursing. You're acting like one. I'm, I apologize. Okay. Because you said it was just opioids. Opioids, y'all usually yeah, just was... not. But crackheads, they be talking crazy. I, talk, I got a bad... Well, you talk crazy. <laughs> you come in here talking crazy. That's all. You said just... you were a dope fiend in the past. <laughs> you come in here talking crazy and cursing. That means you a crackhead. You're something wrong with you. No, That's not no, normal sir. activity in a courtroom to come before a judge. You know that. You've been I before know. the judge, haven't you? <laughs> Did you curse in that judge's courtroom? No, sir. Well, don't act like a crackhead here okay. either. All, All right. right, now go ahead. Tell me without cursing and disrespecting I'm me. I'm sorry, I apologize for mm -hmm. disrespecting your courtroom. Um, I was offered by Jerome to trade sex mm -hmm. for money, so that's what I agreed to. We went to the hotel, he got into the shower. Instead of do going and doing that, mm -hmm. I stole his truck. I did I admit to doing that, which mm -hmm. I was um, charged about the other with. guy, before that, you had also ripped somebody I off? absolutely was. I was in the middle of an, an addiction. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was getting on anybody and everybody that what I could. What have you been doing uh, since 2016, since your recovery? I have served out my probation and pro. Mm -hmm. I, no, no, I'm saying to help other people. Help, perhaps some of these people you I ripped do off. Alcoholics Anonymous. I'm in a 12-step program. Now, I said help some of the other people. You're missing that. That's what a lot of a drug addicts, recovering is... drug addicts, missed the whole point when you start help asking, well, what, saying, what have though... you done? Don't interrupt me. What have you done to help repair the lives that you've destroyed? That's what I'm talking about. I, have, I don't care about yourself. 
Good. Congratulations. Okay. We're glad you're clean. Now, let's get back to all the people you've ripped off and robbed. I have made it. What have you done? I'm okay. trying to make my amends is what I'm doing. Okay. I would have never came to the show if I didn't want to make my amends. However, no, that's not true. I you came here because you're out. being sued. You keep interrupting you. I, yeah, yeah you, I can't interrupt you. I'm okay, the judge. Well, you're not you have talk. been to jail. You're you have right. been to prison. Don't come in here acting like you don't know how to behave in you front of a judge. Tell me I keep interrupting okay. you. You don't speak until I tell you to. Do you understand? I do. Good. Well, stop acting like the dope fiend that you were when you come before me. Did you act like this before the other judges? Did you tell that other judge who locked your behind up? Did you tell him you're not giving me a chance? Did you say you keep interrupting me, judge? Did you get in his courtroom cursing while you're looking at him and giving testimony? Did you do that? Probably so, yes. Yeah, all right. Well, in here, I'm not allowing it. I'm calling it contempt. Your claim is dismissed, and yours is granted. Talk to the next judge Thank like you got some sense. Bye. I apologize for taking your stuff. It was not right. However, what I was trying to say in there was that I've been completely served out. I did my time, so therefore, I do not owe him restitution. Obviously, he's going to get his restitution now because he's been granted, but... My time, I, I served my time in jail, so I don't really know anything. But that has nothing apologize. to do with paying restitution. You, it does, you though. You your time, you did your time. I would have never been let off parole if I didn't completely serve my no. sentence out. I have papers proving that I served my sentence out. I've got out. papers proving that I you didn't pay restitution, though, man. I would have never been let off parole if I didn't serve my time out. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Have a good day.